Hi everybody, it's Letitia and I'm back with another thrifting video. I've never dedicated an entire thrifting video for one item, but this was like, this is a story to be told. You know, there's good days and there's bad days and thrifting, you don't always land on anything amazing. I spent about an hour and a half at the thrift store that day and I looked through lots of things. I looked through every single men's t-shirt because I was in it for the graphic t-shirts as well. Uh, I was kind of disappointed. So I went into the home section because the home section never fails me. I'll at least find something like cute plant pots or some DIY decor items. I picked up a couple of things and I went to check out and then I was like, wait, what's that hanging behind the cash? And I remember the sales associate hadn't started scanning anything and she was like, oh that here, she brings it over and then I noticed that there's tags on it and I was like, oh brand new item even with tags. The first thing that I saw was the Alexander Wang garment tag and I was like <gasps> through my head I was like oh my god Alexander Wang brand spanking new with tags who would donate this why would somebody donate this it's it's brand new why didn't they just bring it to a consignment store and resell it through consignment wow this lady must be super spanking rich or maybe it's like a girl who broke up with her boyfriend or maybe they bought that dress for her and like so many stories were running through my head are you prepared for this this is the dress designer brands like alaya and you know that bandage dress designer um hervé léger the the one with like the one that was super popular back in the 2000s they're known for it's that kind of knit where it's very tight but also a very stretchy knit. It creates a lot of structure in the dress so that you're able to have a form-fitting dress but at the same time if you want it to be A-line, which is what this dress is, that's what creates that shape because of the heavy, heavy knit material. In the midsection is a cutout with a loop belt and I was like, oh, is that the back or the front? I feel like I'd rather wear this at the back. Because the zipper's on the side, I guess you could like swap it back and forth. It's up to you. And it's an extra small and I'm usually a small, so I was like, Ooh. but it's knit and it's stretchy. So I think it should be okay. This bugs me though. This always ripples. This. And then I saw the price tag and the price tag was $300 and I was like okay there are times when thrift stores don't understand the value of the item and so for example one time I thrifted a vintage YSL skirt and that was I bought that for seven bucks and that was a great find but it was like a vintage cotton skirt it's not like this like showstopper dress with tags and obviously somebody's gonna look up the pricing right and that's what I did and the first thing that I googled was Alexander Wang knit striped dress and this is the first thing that came up. It's a current season item. I found it on Shopbop for a thousand dollars. It's a thousand dollar dress. This dress is a thousand dollars. That with tags on, brand new, it's a thousand dollars. And it's sold for three hundred dollars. Which means that I got it for less than a third of the price. Which is hugely satisfying. This dress is definitely going into the books for like one of the best things I've ever thrifted. I was like, okay, I'll take it. And the sales associate was like, are you sure? You don't, you don't even want to try it on? And I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Currently with my restricted budget, I don't know. I, I like, I, I don't know if I should return it. I'm not worthy of this dress, but for now, I'm gonna put it on and I'm gonna twirl around in it and I'm not gonna touch anything because I don't want to spill anything on it I'm not gonna eat I'm not gonna drink I'm not even gonna drink water and feel pretty for a little bit let me know on social maybe or like take a picture and send me what your favorite or like best rare thrift find was this is what keeps me going back to thrifting because it's like anything could happen I hope you guys enjoyed this video you can find me on all social across the board at Letitia Q be sure to subscribe to this channel for more thrifting videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye!